Hi there! Welcome to another video from Opsumo Originals. Today, I will walk you through on how to get started with TidyCal. TidyCal is a scheduling solution that makes it easier to manage your calendar and get more bookings. Let's go and set up your TidyCal account now. Log in to your TidyCal account. The first thing you will want to set up is your profile settings. Click this to access your profile. On top of your page, you have the option to upload your own image or your company logo by clicking on Change Profile Picture. It is recommended that you upload a high resolution image with a 1 is to 1 aspect ratio. A good example would be a 300 pixels by 300 pixels image. Your booking page link field is the custom URL you wish to distinguish yourself from the rest. It could be your name or your company name. You may use a hyphen to separate words in your URL. The text you enter here will be the string that will appear at the end of Tidical's URL. Your name is the name you wish to appear on the confirmation email that Tidical will send to your clients. Your email is the email address that is associated with your Tidical account and it's what you will be using to log in. Your time zone is your own local time zone. This allows you to set what time zone you will be accepting bookings in. Your clients, wherever they may be, will see the times and dates that are equivalent to your time zone. Choose what time format you wish your availability to be shown either in the 12-hour or 24-hour format. You can charge for your bookings. We will talk more about that later in the video but here, you can select what currency you will be charging your clients. This is a global setting, meaning all of your booking times will be charged in this currency. You can set the language of your booking page here. Enter your booking page title here and add a description of what this booking page is about, who you are, or what your business is all about. This information will be shown on your booking page. Set the color scheme of your booking page theme by toggling your color picker in this field. Use the color dropper to automatically select your color scheme. You may use this to pick up your website's color scheme and apply it to Tidical, or select that manually by moving the color and shade here. If you know your specific RGB, HSL, or HEX code, enter the code here. Toggle the selection to identify what color code you intend to use. Now for the advanced settings. You can set the amount of time you wish to not receive bookings from the current time. Select how many hours or minutes you wish to not receive bookings by entering the amount of time here. The availability interval is the increment of time you wish your availability to be shown on your booking page. You can set that number of minutes or hours in this field. Save the changes and your profile is all set. Next, let's look at your booking types. Click on your booking types menu. Here, you will see the default settings for the booking types. Tidical by default will give you 15, 30, and 60 minute booking types. You can verify that by clicking on the view your booking page link here. On this page, you will see your booking page settings. You will see the URL of each of the booking type you have active on your account. You have the option to change the URL and I will show you how later in this video. You can click on copy link and it will copy your booking type's entire URL. The switch here allows you to set whether to enable or disable booking types. When the switch is disabled, this booking type will not be shown on the booking page and will not be accessible to your clients even if they have the link to it. This will tell you the duration of the booking type and the description of the booking type. Click here if you want to change the settings for this particular booking type. TidyCal allows you to embed this booking type on your web page. Click here to grab your embed code and drop it on your web page via a custom HTML widget and it will display on that web page. Delete removes this booking type from your interface and public view. Let's see what the settings page of a booking type looks like. Click edit to change the settings of a booking type. The event name is what you wish to identify this booking type as. 
The event link field automatically populates a URL for your booking type based on the event name. However, you can override that field and set it to your liking. Only hyphens are accepted as separators between words. Enter your event description so that your clients will have an idea of what they're booking for. The event duration is the duration of the meeting. You can customize the event duration as you desire. The minimum meeting padding is the amount of time you wish to sort of rest after the meeting. This is the period where you can consolidate notes from your previous meeting and or to prepare for the next one. The amount of time you enter here will be added to the event duration when your clients book the meeting with you. Meaning if you have a 15-minute event duration and a 10-minute meeting padding, your client will take up a total of 25 minutes from your availability. How far out can your users book is the number of days you wish to be available from the current date. The times and days in a week you wish to show availability is up next. Enable the days of the week you wish to receive meetings. Set the inclusive times you are available. If you wish to set a break within the day, add a separate inclusive time. You have the option to add questions when your clients book meetings with you. Remember that these questions are not required and clients may leave these fields blank. If you have a lifetime license active on your account, you may charge for your bookings. When you enable charging, you can set the amount and the payment gateway you wish to use. Select PayPal to allow clients to pay via PayPal or Stripe if you wish to charge them their credit or debit cards. Enable the tick box if you want to set the booking type as private. This will remove the booking type from your booking page but will be accessible if your clients have the private link to it. Update the booking type to save the changes. The bookings page is where you will see all of your upcoming, past, and canceled bookings depending on your view selection here. You will have access to the details of the bookings by clicking on Details. You will also have the option to cancel or reschedule the booking from within this page. Now for the integrations page. Under Calendars, integrate your Google or Office 365 accounts. Upon selecting which account to link, you will be asked to log in to it. Be sure to enable all the necessary permissions for Tidical to access your account on the Permissions page, then click Allow. Once an account has been integrated, the corresponding calendars under that account will be shown. Set one calendar as primary. Your primary calendar is where all your Tidical bookings will be added to. Enable calendars for reading. Enabling this tells Tidical which calendar to view for events. Tidical will view these calendars and check for what date and time you are available, based on your availability settings. It will then only show those that are free on your booking page. If Tidical detects a busy event on your Google or Office 365 calendar, that date and time will be blocked off on your booking types. You have three options to send video conference links. Use a static link if you have one URL for all your meetings with all your clients. Google Meet if you would like Google Meet to dynamically generate a link for each of your clients to meet on Google. And Zoom to generate dynamic Zoom links to meet on Zoom. You will need a lifetime license to generate Google Meet and Zoom links. You will then be asked to log into either Zoom or Google once this option is selected. Save the changes. For payments, enter your PayPal email address if you wish to charge via PayPal and your Stripe credentials if you wish to charge your client's credit or debit cards. With a pro account, you can also set up an automation via Zapier or set up an API integration. Remember that Tidica will be sending email reminders 24 hours and 1 hour prior to the meeting both to you and your clients. And that's it. Your Tidica is up and running. For more information about Tidical, you may visit our FAQ page on the description box below or send us an email at originals at appsumo.com. Links to our Facebook and Twitter accounts can also be found in the description box. Hit the like button on this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.